Hi guys, Steph here. Right, what have we got for you today? I'll tell you exactly what we've got for you today. We've got a gorgeous Parker 51. Yes, I'm sure a lot of you will look at it and recognise this pen. It's a Parker 51. Some people know it as the Mark 1. This is actually a Vacumatic fountain pen. Now, Parker 51 made lots of diff well not lots they made the vacuumatic in numerous different colors different trim different caps etc i don't know how clear it will show but what we've got here is the parker 51 vacuumatic in a cedar blue color it's like a sort of a darker shade of of the teal but i believe it's called the cedar blue it's also what we call the diamond uh diamond clip version but as i say it's the parker 51 vacuumatic i've made you lots and lots and lots of videos on parker 51s if you're interested in them go and have a look at them um but this one was just a lovely example i thought it was worthy of a review the size of the pen from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel 137 millimeters capped around the barrel it's a nice 12 millimeters in diameter now as i say this one being a vacuumatic means that what we simply do we unscrew the the cap at the end there and there you go you can see it's got this plastic plunger to the end or underneath the blind cap there's the blind cap and what we do we dip the nib in the ink and we press down numerous times on the plunger to fill the pen we'll show you that in a moment this particular one as we said is cedar blue it comes with a gold filled cap in the fact that if i bring it quite close and there you'll see the well not the barrel imprint you'll see the cap imprint reads one in ten 14 carat gold filled and then just underneath there it says made in usa and you can see the pattern is these lines running the length of the cap absolutely lovely you can see very recognizable parker arrow clip there there's a sideways view slight difference being as we said earlier this one is what we term as the blue diamond which incidentally i've told you this information before so i don't want to get too much into sort of the history etc but the blue diamond was a way of sort of it was actually a warranty mark if you like any blue diamond um it was actually parker's way of showing that it had a, a lifetime warranty but you'll see there just be below the blue diamond it's got the word parker if we take you up to the top there a lovely clear gray jewel as i say in lovely condition the only little thing if you like is this little ding there and um, to me it's such a tiny ding that i thought right just leave it it just gives the pen a little bit of character apart from that in absolutely beautiful condition i've put a new diaphragm in the pen everything internally has been clean the the collector the feed the nib etc let's take the cap off Let's give you some customary twirls of the pen as we do. A few people don't know the cap inside. I don't know if you'll actually be able to see it. Has this sort of clutch inside the cap there, which sits on the clutch ring on the barrel there. Right, let's take you to the section, the very recognizable section. It has this hooded nib, as you Parker 51 fans know. Let's give you a sideways view. Let's take you underneath there. You can see the feed underneath as well. It's also nice and clean. 
everything's been restored and cleaned in gorgeous condition the nice thing about this pen it also has a nice clear imprint let's bring it nice and close keep it nice and still and it reads Parker 51 to the right of the 51 it has the number 8 which is dating this pen to 1948 and just below there you can see it also says made in USA so the barrel imprint is correct with the imprint to the cap as well so it's a made in USA 1948 incidentally the nib inside is actually a year younger um, it's actually dated 1947 also a USA nib as well so as we said it's a vacuumatic there we go there's the blind cap so what we do we did well okay yes and no I can hear you already let's see it right in okay so what we do we dip the section in the ink we press on this plunger numerous times in effect what happens it stretches or opens the diaphragm inside which creates a vacuum which in effect then sucks in the ink into the barrel I'm only going to do it a couple of times it's only for um, it's only for a writing sample okay we could see some bubbling going on there so that looks fine let's pop the blind cap back on and as always let's see how the pen writes first time it's been written with since since I've restored it so let's see how it writes so what we have is a a Parker and it's right well the ink flow there we go it's coming through already so we've got a Parker 51 um, it's a a vacuumatic um, it's also what we term as the the blue diamond version okay obviously with this pen as we'd expect there's no flexibility in the nib it's well as with a lot of Parker 51's it's a hard nib oh got a little blob there so there's a writing sample now as you can see in my opinion it's a little bit on the light side and the ink flow well needs adjusting so what I'm going to do I'm going to adjust the ink flow and what we'll do we'll then get a better ink flow and obviously the print or the writing sample will be much much better but just for now we'll leave it at that we'll put the cap back on and there we have it a lovely example of a Parker 51 vacuumatic mark one um, with this plastic plunger blue diamond cap one in ten 14 karat gold filled cap in gorgeous condition in cedar blue so I hope you people have enjoyed looking at the pen as much as I enjoy showing them to you people don't forget leave a comment below don't be shy subscribe to the channel don't miss any videos and if you possibly can all the work that I do sort of takes time effort etc um, I have to finance it somehow if you possibly can please support my work but for now I'll just simply say Bye-bye for now.